family of four homeless tonight. Good evening. I'm Pamela Young. A 37-year-old woman and her two children were lucky to escape with their lives after a fire destroyed their home. KITV4's Roger Murray was at the scene and has details. Roger. Well, it happened in Nana Cooley at around 10:15 this morning. When the first responders arrived, the house was fully involved. All I just heard was screams, fire, children, and I ran outside. It didn't take long for flames to spread throughout this house on Mohihi Street. Smoke could be seen from far away on Farrington Highway when the call came in to the Honolulu Fire Department. Our first alarm left the station, saw smoke visible right coming out of the station, so they sounded the second alarm immediately. With the help of some neighbors, a 37 year old woman and two of her three children were spared any serious injuries. They were all able to get out okay. There were some minor injuries, a uh, uh, scratch. Um, and some other small stuff. EMS checked them out at the scene uh, and they refused transport. According to a good friend and next door neighbor, this is the second tragedy the family has had to endure in as many years. She had lost her husband um, two years ago, January. Um, we were there for that. Um, it was really tough watching her lose her husband like that. They had just moved into the house a year. The fire was hot enough and high enough to destroy a power line. HECO workers arrived shortly to repair the down line. A vehicle in the house next door sustained some damage, and the woman was clearly distraught when she had seen what the flames had done to her home. She's losing everything around Christmas, and that's just that, that's that's what's hurting me the most. Fire investigators stayed, investigators stayed on the scene to find out what might have caused the fire. An official estimate of the damage has yet to be determined. The Hawaii chapter of the American Red Cross was called out to assist the family. Pamela, back to you. Thank you.